Alright, y'all caught me. I was practicing for my new rock and roll album. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna have no rock and roll album. But, um, while well, I got your attention, I might as well talk to you, right? Um, this morning I heard an interview that Rick Ross called in and had an interview, you know, but what was interesting is she asked him, like, where this shit came from or, like, what he said. We got Rick Ross on the line. What's up, Ross? What's up, dude? Shit came out of the clear blue sky to me. I didn't know what the fuck the nigga was talking about when I heard it. And then what he said was so whack that I didn't even know if the nigga was meant it or he was, like, you know what I mean? Some sideways shit. So, anyway, she asked him where it came from. And he said he, from the BT Awards. Now, I ain't never had a conversation with these niggas. I don't know these niggas. I know your name. I seen your video. Other than that, we ain't got no business together. We ain't got no reason to even be talking to each other, right? So, niggas think that it's an opportunity to create energy or, or like, a, a excitement for the actual release of their record. And I understand that it may be more attention than you usually get, but... It'll be the kind of attention that when it goes away, you go away completely. Like, there's nothing else left for your ass. You complete it. Done. You know, and your company, the system, might actually feel like it's a good idea for the moment until they realize that I won't stop. <laughs> there's nobody in control of me. Like, I do what I want to do. So... I'm deciding to fuck your life up. Rick Ross, I'm gonna fuck your life up. For fun. There's a few times. I'm, I, this is not new, I do this all the time. Like, I had a list of niggas that fucked up. I'm gonna fuck your shit up. You know what I mean? Because I, I know, I can already see from here, from where I'm at, that this nigga's a total fraud. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not even no uh, issue. But I paid for the transcripts to your court case. Just in case. I really didn't want to know the court, that actual family court shit. I really wanted your address. You see me at the BET Award. You see me by myself. Everybody at the BET Award saw me. I don't even remember seeing this nigga. This, the illest shit is, I don't even remember like in passing. Like you so unimportant that I don't even remember walking past the nigga or, or anything. Shit is crazy, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna fuck your shit up. Now I now I know you. Know so much new information about you that I, I think it's fair to say um, I know you now. And everybody else will know you real soon. You get a chance to see some interesting shit. I know your name was Teflon. I know you was sleeping on Greg Street couch. Trying to get a deal at Swap House. I just know you're a bum, like, a fucking bum. You know what I mean? So, you're gonna really understand how resourceful I am. You know? And you're gonna, you're gonna see what happens when someone comes from the environment and absorbs all of the new information. I'm going to Venezuela today, and when I get back, I'm going to finish. I got a few songs that I got to mix. I'm in the studio with him and Dr. Dre right now. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to continue fucking your life up. And Cal is a faggot, too. He's a faggot, B. And he's a suckers. Suckers. I see him at the BET Awards. That's funny. Like, I remember seeing Cal at, but I don't remember seeing Rick Ross at all. A nigga told me he gave me a pass. Well, don't give me no pass, man. I don't, I don't deserve pass. I'd be, I'm a fucked up nigga. You should do something to me. You understand what I'm saying? Because niggas is send mixed messages. You know? But now that I got your address, if we go there, we'll be on your doorstep, Ricky. And we can make it, you know, the way it's supposed to be. Good. I know you know Noriega. The real Noriega. Oh, shit. Ricky's friend's outside. You hit him? There they go. Ricky's crew. He said he got a $2 million crew in New York City. And he was talking about the NYPD. I got a $2 million crew of niggas in New York. That's who you was talking about when you said you got a $2 million crew in New York City? 
Because I don't know no niggas that fuck with you out here. You know? You was doing good. You had E-class around you. You done lost that. Now what you got? <laughs> you gonna fuck with me after you get rid of the niggas that could actually have tried to help you in this situation? This is gonna be fun. <laughs>